Email is the most popular method cybercriminals use to attack businesses. As the threat landscape continues to evolve, end users and administrators can follow these best practices to avoid email-borne threats. To protect against spam, review your spam filter settings. If too much spam is getting through, consider lowering your spam score threshold to make your spam filter more aggressive at handling spam. In MDaemon Remote Administration, you'll find these settings under the Spam Filter menu, and in Security Gateway, you'll find them under Security, Anti-Spam, Heuristics, and Bayesian. Use a DNS block list service to block email from servers that are known to relay spam. There are several reputable DNS block list services available, zen.spamhouse.org, for example. Use URI block lists to block email containing malicious URLs. And use location screening to block email from countries with which you have no legitimate business. In MDaemon Remote Administration, you'll find these settings in the Security section under the Screening menu. And in Security Gateway, you'll find them under the Anti-Abuse section. Blocking email from specific regions can reduce a surprising amount of spam. Enable backscatter protection to protect users from receiving bounce-back or auto-response emails in response to messages that they never sent. Backscatter happens when a spammer spoofs the return path of an outbound email with a legitimate address. Backscatter protection can prevent this. Use tar pitting to deter hackers by slowing down delivery of suspicious inbound messages. Use Bayesian classification to improve spam filter accuracy. Bayesian classification uses artificial intelligence to analyze samples of spam and non-spam messages, which are fed to a database to train the spam filter to be more accurate based on your specific business needs. And regularly check for spam filter updates to ensure that you have the latest spam processing rules. Always check inbound and outbound email traffic for malware. Antivirus features are included in Security Gateway and can be purchased as a licensed feature for mDaemon. It's also a good idea to block Microsoft Office attachments containing macros, as they can lead to malware infiltration on your network. Both mDaemon Antivirus and Security Gateway have a setting to block attachments containing macros. Protect your users from hackers by requiring them to use SMTP authentication to ensure that all mail sessions are authenticated with a username and password, and use strong, hard-to-guess passwords. And don't allow users to use any passwords that have been found in a data breach. Both mDaemon and Security Gateway have an option to prevent compromised passwords from being used. Use two-factor authentication whenever possible. In Security Gateway, two-factor authentication settings are located under the User Options screen. And in mDaemon Remote Administration, they're located under Account Templates, Web Services, and under the Web Services screen within each individual account. End users can enable two-factor authentication via the Security menu in mDaemon Webmail. Use POP before SMTP to require users to first check for new mail before they are allowed to send outbound mail. To avoid being placed on a block list, Make sure that your software does not allow open relaying, which occurs when email that is neither to nor from a local account is delivered through your system. To protect against hackers trying to abuse your system, use dynamic screening to track and block invalid login attempts, SMTP screening to block connections that exhibit suspicious behavior, and account hijack detection to block accounts from being abused by hackers. Use IP shielding to require email from your domain to be sent from authorized clients on your network, and IP screening to block or allow connections from specific IP addresses or clients. Use tar pitting to discourage spammers from abusing your mail server by slowing down an inbound connection when too many email recipients are detected in a single session. Protect against spoofing with Sender Policy Framework, or SPF, to verify that inbound mail was sent from an authorized mail server or gateway for the sending domain, domain key is identified mail, or DKIM, to ensure inbound messages have not been tampered with during delivery, and DMARC verification to handle suspect or spoofed mail according to the sending domain's policies. In Security Gateway, you'll find these settings under Security, Anti-Spoofing, and in mDaemon Remote Administration, you'll find them under Security, Sender Authentication. You can help protect users from social engineering by displaying a warning when a message is received from an external source. This feature can be enabled via a content filter rule in mDaemon Remote Administration. To help users identify potential spoofing, configure your email server or gateway software to display the full from header on inbound email messages. In mDaemon Remote Administration, you'll find this feature under Security, Screening, 
from header screening. And in Security Gateway, you'll find it under Security, Anti-Spoofing, from Header Screening. Protect your data privacy using tools such as SSL and TLS for MDAMON webmail and remote administration, and OpenPGP for encryption of email and email attachments. And finally, check for updates regularly to ensure that you have the latest security patches installed. Both MDAMON and Security Gateway can be configured to check for updates automatically at regular intervals. Email security depends on a variety of features to be fully effective. Following these best practices can help protect your business from email-borne threats.